If your ink too slow and your nib won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to see you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Well, hello, my groovy, groovy, loving, cool, loving, inky, dinky, enthusiast, pin friends. Yes, I'm the one and only Mr. Pin Guy, Mr. Fantastic, Mr. Know-It-All that knows nothing. Eh, but I don't care. Welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pin Review, and today, let me tell you this. I have a monster pin for review. My opinion. This gentleman has been doing some pins for a while. He's got his act together. He knows what he's doing. He's got his creation in his mind, how he wants pins to be. Because, you know, every custom pin maker has their own way of making pins, their own designs, their own colors, whatever it may be, whatever comes to their mind. Well, this gentleman, I think, not only took the rabbit out of the hat, but also took all the pins out of the hat because... When you see this, hopefully you're going to feel like I do. I was stunned. Yep. When I first saw the pin right there, I was just stunned because the pattern of the pin, it intrigued me so much. It was like I was hypnotized. Now, a lot of you may not feel that way, but I do. I'm just giving you my opinion because, you know, we all have different opinions and different likes and dislikes, and that's quite all right. I'm sharing you my honest opinion and my feelings. Now, is this pin for everyone? Probably not. Is the price affordable? That's up to you. It's a high-end pin, but it has pins starting lower range, and they work up. You have to go to the site and look. But is this pin the price is worst? Well, that's for you to answer, not me. For me... Absolutely, 100%. Now, I've been writing with this pen for right before I went into the hospital. It hasn't given me any problems. I know what, two weeks maybe or longer. I've inked it up twice. Today would be my third time. So, for me, and there's a lot of pens I say this, that I don't want to put it down. I really, really love it. But it is all that. So, a special thank you to Michael Riggs for sending me this pin for review. And with that said, let's get into the pin. Right here. And I'm going to flip it over. And beautifully done with Riggs' last name, his signature. I like that. Very cool. That will let you know who the custom pin maker, uh, excuse me, custom pin maker, custom pin maker is. Can you get that real good? You know, I think Edison does that. A lot of people do it, but it's a good idea. And I would be proud to have the person who made my pen name on this. I really would. And it, just look at the patterns. Look at those amazing, beautiful, stunning patterns. Look at that. In this gorgeous, it's just utterly stunning fountain pen. And as you go down the barrel, at the end of the barrel, you're going to have the same color at the end as you go all the way up to the top. Isn't that beautiful? And it goes like what, a pyramid, like a point here. And it's got one, two, like four little maybe, unless I'm seeing wrong. And I'll show you in a minute. Maybe not. But it does come into a little point right there. Beautiful. I mean, Michael, you get a thumbs up, a peace sign, a lot of love. 
Michael, you knocked this one out of the park. I love it. For me, this is the first time I've ever seen such a unique pen with designs as you did. It's just gorgeous. Just stunning, stunning, stunning. I cannot say enough about this pen. That's how infatuated I am with this pen. First time ever. Look through all my reviews. This one. I'm feeling it. I'm loving it. But all those years you've been in making pens comes to one thing, the payoff. It shows your love, your enthusiasm. It shows your heart in here. It shows you are a true, worthy, custom pen maker. So, we're going to put that right there and let you look at it for a while. I think we'll do it sideways, what do you think, so they can see everything like I'm at like a live. Okay, here we go. And then I'm going to open it up and break it down, ink it up. And that is the... Fordite. It's also called Motor City Detroit Agate. And it's an old automotive painting, or paint it rather, which has hardened and with the extreme care can be cut and polished. Fordite was produced from the accumulation of layers, and I'm talking about layers, of enamel paint remaining on tracks. Interesting. In the skid on which cars were hand spray painted back in the day. Then later, the paint process became automatic. Fordate has recently been incorporated into jewelry making and limited pin making, as you see right before your eyes, right here. All this process is going into this one pin. The smooth nib in, is made in Germany with the Joe Wode, and I believe that's a number six. Okay, I hope you're still with me. Incredible fountain pen, incredible information. And the four date recently has been incorporated, like I said, again, I want to say it, into jewelry. So all you folks out there, who knows, you may have that on there. And limited pen making. And here's one of them, again, right here. I had to repeat myself because this pen is that worthy of it. This, the smooth nib, like I was just saying, is a German yellow nib, which is very popular, and polished steel, gold-plated steel, rhodium-plated, as well as solid gold nibs. And they are also all available. The point sizes, that's the nib grade, which can be ordered, are extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. Broad's my baby, medium's next. Fine, maybe. I might like to try 1.1 stub as well, which he has, and 1.5 stub. The filling system is a standard international size cartridge or converter. Or use your own ink. Right directly from the ink bottle. Don't drink it. Ink your pen up. It's thirsty. The section and final choice are acrylic or ebonite. Now the section, and like I said, I'll break this all down for you in a minute. And the final choice. Again, are acrylic or ebonite. So you have two, okay, with me, two. And the beauty of the pen plus the total totally pleasurable writing, which is true, because I've been there, done that, with it are noteworthy characteristics, which are just dynamite. Additionally, the benefits 
of the specific dimensions and hand comfort, which it does fit nicely in the hand. Optimal weight and length and diameter. Here are the pin measurements because this pin is all this and more. You, know, you don't know it until you actually have this pin in your hand. You don't know it until you actually ink it up and write with it. You don't know it till you have it. So it's up to the individual to say, I'm not paying that kind of money for it. It's not worth it to me. And that's cool. I respect that. But if you're one of those like me, just say, you know what? This, if this pen writes as beautiful as it looks, I'm going to take a chance. And you're going to be really satisfied that you did. Like I said, the pen's not for everybody, right? But for people like me, yes. I don't have any money, no. But I would save to get one like that for sure, yes. Let's start with the length, okay? We're gonna start with the length, and that's 30 millimeters. Now the converter it has inside is a universal type, 70 millimeters in length. The cap length, approximately 65 millimeters. The cap max, Diameter approximately is 16 millimeters. Now, when you uncap, the length is going to be 138 millimeters. Body length approximately 86 millimeters. At the end of the finial, to the cap threads, 86 millimeters. But then the body overall length from the finial to the tip, finial to the tip, finial to the tip, is going to make that 150 millimeters. And end finial dominant, uh, excuse me, diameter is going to be 10 millimeters with the weight, bam, 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 bam. With cap 34.4, I'm sorry, 32.4 G's, which can vary slightly. The weight without the cap, bam, 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 it's going to be 21.4 G's, which it can also vary uh, slightly. Now, Michael Riggs advised that most dimensions of custom order can be adjusted so. To accommodate large hands. I have small ones. Mr. Nouncer has big ones. And he'll put the pin in his hands in a minute. But he can make them. Whatever size you want. Not a problem. He's a custom pin maker. Give me a break. This guy knows his stuff. It speaks right here in this fountain pen. This has to say something in your head. And there's no extra charge for that. And in his opinion. The Riggs Fordite fountain pen. And the rare wood fountain pen are perfect gift for oneself and for others. Now, again, this pen, it's just gorgeous. I'm going to have to send it back. Oh, well. This is really, I can't say enough good things about this pen. It is that beautiful. It writes extremely well. And you can get a gold nib for it. Now, if I was to ever buy a pen like this, I'd save up the money and get me a gold nib. Abroad. Beautiful fountain pen. Thank God, Michael, you have come up with this way to make this pen different. This pen's, you bought it, it's true beauty out. And I would say, Michael should be right up there with these custom pen makers. He deserves that. Look at the fountain pen. Just look at this pen. I think the pen speaks for itself. I, I, I'm just flabbergasted over the pen. You know, how did I find this pen? Well, I was on Facebook one day and going through some pens and looking who had made what. When I saw this, it was a different color. Beautiful. 
I was like glued on that pen, like a magnet. I just couldn't get away from it. Right then, it was love at first pen. So I reached out to Mike. Michael, please, can I review your pen? Sure. And we've been kind of like together showing his pen. Thank you, Michael Riggs. Thank you for taking the time for making not just a work of art, a work of beauty, but a beautiful writing instrument. I don't know why any big dealers don't pick this up quick. They would be glad they did. Be a feather in their hat. Beautiful. So let's uh, talk about the pen. Got a nice clip. Sturdy. But not too sturdy that you can't get it on. And we'll try this. Da -da -da. And it's on there to stay. Peace. Right off. I love how you go up. And that pattern, look, the pattern matches and connects in line with the next design pattern. And as you go around, same. As you go around, same. It all does the same. They're not off-centered. And I like how the, I would say that's a blue when you're a green. Turquoise. Green, I would say, wouldn't you? Uh, no, uh, it's turquoise, sort of. Yeah, turquoise, green, I'm blind. How they all come together, bam, bam, and bam. Very nicely done. Actually, now that I look at it, I think I might call it an emerald green. It is just really nice. Michael, you the man. Now, I'm not trying to make Michael something that he's not. I'm not trying to cut anybody down because everybody makes their own thing and they're beautiful pens. But this is the first for me anyway to review such a beautiful, magnificent fountain pen. And no one's paying me to say it. This is my honest remarks, review opinions. So let's go ahead and twist it apart. Here we go. And we're going to ink it up. And there's the cap. And you can always even put it under the light and you can see. Kind of reminds me of a kaleidoscope, you know. That little pattern's going on down there. That is interesting. Here's the cap. Now, as we go down the pen, there's just a slight step off. It has a nice, big grip section. So, for chunky monster King Kong fingers, that'll do. Now, I hold my pen right here. Sometimes I catch myself holding the pen up in here. So this gives me extra room because of the length in it. Now I know if it was a shorter uh, grip section, I would be right about there. So Mr. Announcer, where would you, don't drop it. <laughs> Is that a nice size grip section? Uh, yeah, it's decent. Uh, it works rather well. It, uh, it's uh, maybe just a little heavy in the back. Let's see. But no, this would work well. It would work well. Yeah, and it, even though it's smooth, uh, I still feel like I've got a good controlling grip on it. Now, this isn't, uh, when he says smooth, not like chrome. No, not But you're slick. going to get that same type of feeling with any of this kind of material, I believe. Just look at that material. See if we can get a close-up of that. See that? Okay. All right. Now let's unscrew the grip section and get into it. And then we'll talk about the heart 
of the pen. Because right? we want to know how the heart feels. If that heart ain't pumping, you ain't going nowhere. And here is your, I guess it would be just a standard converter. Okay. And let's take an Izzy, fix it on the nib. Medium nib, I just dip the nib Nicely. And it lays down the ink. And this is fast. In my sloppy writing. And you can get a different line variation for sure. Cross down and look at that beautiful All right. well, there you have it and the ink that I used today was one of my all time favorites can you guess what it is by Robert Ooster the frankly green which is really a superb, beautiful shade of green by no other than Mr. Robert Orster himself. Beautiful ink. And you know, if you haven't tried Robert Orster inks, or if you have tried Robert Orster inks and wasn't really happy, why not give another shot? He has put out so many beautiful inks. And I tell you what, it really goes lovely with this pen. So, Michael, appreciate you sending me this for review, and I shall get it back to you after I clean it. Thank you much. God bless. Have a great day. A lot of peace and love to each and every one of you. I wish the best for you. Pray for the world. We need it. Kind to a stranger, and as always, don't text and drive.